Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I like to do my favorite foundation routine for getting a flawless base makeup that's not at all cakey. So for having non-cakey makeup, you want to make sure that you exfoliate your face often. That's probably one of the top things for making sure your makeup doesn't look cakey at all. On top of which, you want to keep it well hydrated and moisturized. And for that, I like to use this Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum that's extremely hydrated. It also is a great base for makeup as it's nice and tacky so it allows your foundation to stick perfectly. On top of that, I also like to use this sun cream here because it has a nice light blue texture and color which evens out the skin tone and makes your skin look brighter and more luminous and soft. Now, for foundation, I actually don't use foundation. I like to use CC and BB cushions because they are just very quick and very easy for applying makeup. On top of which, they also are generally all designed to make your pores look smoothed out, erase fine lines and wrinkles. Recently, I've been using the new Claire's Mochi BB Cushion, which is designed to have a semi-dewy and satin finish to give you that luminous yet natural looking skin complexion. After that, I always go in with a brightening concealer. Recently, I've been using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. I always make sure to apply it in a brightening effect, first focusing on my lower dark circles, then spreading it out onto the inner corners of my cheeks, then up along my cheekbones as well. Not only does this conceal my dark circles and make me look more awake, it also is brightening and helps my face just look full of life and nice and glowy. Then I always go in with the puff that I used from my cushion and just blend it out. Now, if you have very dehydrated or dry skin, I would leave it at that for the day and just bring your cushion to touch up any spots that wear off. That is a great way to have non-cakey makeup. However, if you're planning to wear your makeup for the long haul, then you're going to want to set it with powder. However, using the correct powder is really important. This can be hard as some powders may work well for others, but not so much for you. For me, recently I've been loving this new Vise translucent powder, which works really well for making my skin not feel dry or cakey, and it also makes my pores disappear. Try to stay away from powder foundations or pressed powders as they can tend to look very cakey on the skin. Look for something that's extremely fine milled also. Those are the ones that are going to give you that silky, satiny skin finish. If you wanted to make your makeup look even more dewy and smooth, then I would go in with a setting spray after, but I don't really tend to use one. Anyways, you guys, that is how I always tend to do my daily base makeup. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really sultry and chic makeup look that I featured on my Instagram that everyone really seemed to love, including me. So, let's get started. Starting off with this look, I already have my face fresh and primed with my skincare. And for today's skincare, I'm using the new improved formula of the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum, which works really well as a base for makeup. It's nice and tacky cushion lately because it's very hydrating and moisturizing, but it also provides me enough coverage to help cover my acne scars and imperfections. In a padding motion, I'm just applying this all over my face in an even layer. Next, taking my NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly, I'm going to be using this to highlight and also conceal my dark circles. 